Welcome back. In this video, we're walking through how to set up a payment profile in SenderMix. Payment profiles are essential. They power your automations, handle your transactions, and help you manage how payments flow across platforms like Stripe, PayPal, Coinbase, SumUp, and more. Let's get started. First, navigate to the Payments tab in the sidebar, then select Profiles. Here, you'll see a list of all your existing payment profiles with options to filter by name or provider, useful if you're working with multiple gateways. To create a new profile, click the Add Profile button at the top right. Choose your provider, in our case, we'll select PayPal Express. Then, give your profile a name, something descriptive that your team will recognize. Next, pick which domain you want this profile to operate under. You can stick with the default sendermix.com or if you've created a custom Shield domain in a previous step, you can select that here. We'll go with the Shield for this example. The order limit setting is a great safety net. If, for example, you get 10 consecutive pending orders, this profile will automatically pause helping you stay ahead of potential issues. Then enter your PayPal, email, key, and secret. And don't forget to toggle the status on to make this profile active. You can also add an internal note useful for collaboration or tracking profile-specific details. One more optional setting. You can add a prefix before or after your product names. This changes how product names appear on the PayPal side, which can be helpful for reporting or organization. Once you've filled everything out, click Create and that's it. Your new PayPal profile is ready to go. Now, keep in mind, this profile won't be used until it's linked to a payment automation, which is where the real power of SenderMix comes in. We'll cover that in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have questions, our support team is just a click away.